Hey YouTube, it's Mason Sushi here. It's been a while. Sorry I'm coming with you on my iPhone, but um, I have an issue. I just purchased a Neo Geo CDZ from a seller on eBay. Uh, really nice guy. We negotiated, um, said it was functioning and everything. But when I got home and opened it, I was out of country when it came in. And when I got back, I was totally stoked to play it. Uh, I'm I'm diversifying my collection into the Neo Geo. I bought the CDZ here that you see, as well as an MBS. Um, that said, I wanted to have both in my collection, especially this Neo Geo CD. It's in very nice condition. Um, as you can see over here is the box the gentleman gave it to me. That's the number. You wanted to see the barcode thing, I guess, on the box. It's upside down. I'm sorry for that. But um, the problem I get with is the laser's dead and you can go online to see what it looks like from other people but I'm going to show it because he wanted to see it so to prove the beginning he wanted to see the barcode uh, the skew and I really wanted this one in particular because look at the low number on it um, I was totally stoked it was under 1500 uh, my understanding there's 50,000 I'm not totally sure I haven't researched the actual number that they estimate were made but anything under the 1500 mark for a console I consider pretty solid Cosmetically, it's a very nice system, like I said. Um, minor little dust on it, but totally fine. Uh, the box was in good shape, no manual, uh, but he did throw in an extra controller. Uh, when I purchased it, I was supposed to get one, but he was kind enough. I don't know if it was an accident on his part or uh, what have you, but there was two in there. So, but onto the, onto the system. So what happened is these things are notorious for lasers burning out. They overheat easily. So buying one that was supposed to be tested is great. Now, like I said, he said it was tested and it was in his personal collection. I, I, I can't call him a liar or anything. I don't know him personally, but it doesn't work for me when, the day I got it. I was totally bummed. I had, when I was out of country, I had already purchased some games over here. And these will be the ones I test. You have Cross Swords, Sonic Wings 2, uh, Samurai Showdown 2, and uh, Magical Drop 2. Um, I also have an audio CD from an oldie from 99, one of the now, wow, you can't even see that. I think they're up to like now 55 or some crap like that. But I have that just as a CD control. Um, anyway, so what happens is, let's open it up. It has a locking mechanism, so make sure if you do ever acquire one, make sure you push down or at least do not yank. You can break these three pins that rotate around the side. Um, so let's boot it up. Let's see. I'm doing this one-handed, so please forgive me. Make sure it's in solid. Close it down. Now I will hit power. Well, that's the CD error that comes up. Um, if you go over, move it over to start. Make sure you can hear me click it. It's not recognizing. So let's try it again. We'll power it off. So what happens is this disc should spin, slow down after it does the check if it's a real CD, uh, if it meets the code, and then it'll boot the game after it loads. So what's gonna happen is, I don't know how I'm gonna finagle this, but I'm going to, let's see if I can do it in the same. So right here I'm holding down, that's gonna hold down the top. See there's the pin there and that presses down. So I'm gonna hit the button here, sorry for that. So it boots up, it'll spin the disc check, loads, but then it stops. And it doesn't check anymore. The disc stops spinning. You can hear it. It doesn't even try to access a second time. It's dead. And then there's your CD warning. See, I'm just holding this thing down so the system thinks it's closed. There it goes to there. Okay, well, you might say, well, it's just this one game. So we'll, tr uh, we'll look at the disc. It's in really good shape. Because I try not to buy 
poor quality games. But, you know, just a... Uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this one-handed and it gets distracted. So we will open up the second one for consistency. And there's your error again. So for the last thing we will do, um, I've tried all these games. I could go through all four of them. I actually have one more. I have Metal Slug that's still up on the shelf. I'm not pulling out. Um, uh, so what we can do just for consistency shake is, where's my little, that's my little bit adapter. So I'm gonna try it again. Sorry for the wobbly cam guys. So here I'm pressing it down to see if it boots in. It's coming up but then the disc is already stopped, so it won't boot in. CD, dead. Okay, so we know games aren't booting, so let's try, let's try my one audio CD. And I haven't heard this thing in forever. It just was on the found it in a stack on a bookshelf or something. So um, we'll just try it regularly. And see it's just yeah it still has the same error screen yeah so it's not working I mean I can I can boot it again just to show and it stops reading even the music CD. So to sum it up, um, I'll be returning this. I'm um, sorry, gentlemen, I know you're gonna be watching this video, but I'm going to send it back. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gone. So for everyone watching, do be careful when you buy this. Uh, make sure the, general, uh, the person you buy from checks it. Uh, my seller did say he checked it. Um, and I am a collector, so I don't want the gentleman to think I'm trying to scam anybody. I mean, I have these is uh, I haven't done a new game room tour, guys, so um, I'm going to be doing one. But that's my complete NES set, and there's a cabinet for um, my uh, 64 sets down there, and a lot of the collectible rare supers are up there. But um, anyway, uh, this is not working, and it needs to go back, and I'm going to uh, get my refund. Um, but make sure when you do buy one of these that the seller does say they're tested. And even if it does say it's tested, make sure you check uh, as soon as it comes in uh, with both music and discs. Make sure your discs are um, newish, you know, no scratches and everything. Try it out, and it should continue to spin once you power. That's how you know it loads into memory. So, guys, uh, like I said, I'm sorry it's been a long time, but I needed to post this so the gentleman knows I wasn't lying to him. Showed him the uh, SKU number on the bottom, and it's really unfortunate because I really, really wanted this one. To work for me um anyway guys thank you uh for watching um sorry seller uh but i will be sending it back and i uh, hope everyone has a good day and i'm hoping to post videos again here soon I'm trying to get my game room all set up but uh have a nice one guys bye